broadcasting live out of a basement in Appleton, Wisconsin. You're tuned in to Fox City's Core on WCZR Code Zero Radio. We're the show that gives you an opportunity to call in and be a part of the show. Our call in line is 920-358-0795. Core. My next guests are a dance punk trio from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. They recently released the EP Bad News on vinyl. I'd like to welcome Smoke Free Home to Fox City's Core on Code Zero Radio. How are you guys doing? Great. Good. Pretty good. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming in and doing this. Uh, it's been a while since you've been here. Uh, some stuff has happened since then, which we're going to catch up on. Let's start off the show by talking about something you have coming up tonight down in Oshkosh. Yeah. Uh, we're you know, you know. we're going to be at Reptile Palace. It's going to be a real genre bender. We've got um, Force Field and Fangerless. So, yeah. Is, is the Reptile home base for you guys? Would you consider that to be the... Yeah, we've like slightly calmed down from playing there. Um, there was a point when we played there like once a month for a couple months, but um, yeah, they're always real special shows. We love it there. That's where yeah. we played our first show, did we not? I mean, outside of the basement. Yeah, outside of the basement. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. our first show. Yeah. And the, who were the other bands you're playing with tonight? Fangerless and Force Field. Have you played with them before? Yeah, um, we played with Fangerless at some kind of camp. Uh, thing, a little right. little festival. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we actually went on the road with Force Field last October out to like Minnesota, a couple shows in Wisconsin. That was fun. Good yeah, guys. Good guys. What's the the best thing about playing at the Reptile? Um, a very short drive drive home afterwards. <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, it's it's a real cozy venue. Yeah. Well, you had some uh, the big some big news coming up. You actually released uh, bad news on vinyl. You, yeah, you've got a copy right Judas. there. I don't know if there's a specific place to show Which it. Which camera? Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we put it out on CD and streaming back in October, but we we're really proud of the way it sounded and turned out. We wanted to uh, put something out on vinyl and thought this was a good opportunity. So, was this uh, the first thing you've released on vinyl? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it was the process a process that'll maybe make it where you'll put future releases out on vinyl, or was it such a to do that? I think there were a lot of unexpected steps. Yeah, there there was a lot of learning going into it because we never do, have done it, but um, probably keep it to some special stuff go on vinyl, you know. But um, yeah, we'll, I'm sure we'll we'll do it again in the future. You guys put out a promo video for it, which you're using it sort of like a frisbee. Was that a real record? I know it was yellow. (laughs) Yeah, 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 it was. That's what you're getting. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, this is yours. Um, Yeah, no, we we were just tossing one of them around because uh, we didn't have time to make a prop. So just a silly little video. Were any records hurt in the? No, uh, they're very durable. So yeah, you're surprised. If anybody that has one feels like tossing around a little bit um it works so to, to put something out on vinyl did you have to have it remastered um the company that we did it through has a um somebody on their team that masters the tracks for vinyl so pretty much just had to send them our finished copies that we already had and they had it all kind of done with us the whole process took about um probably like a little under three months so honestly not a bad turnaround time from other people that I've heard, I think there was a while there where a lot of vinyl manufacturers were kind of backed up and yeah. you're getting like eight month quotes, you know, for turnaround. But yeah, this one this was pretty smooth, honestly. So as far as like a test pressing, did they send you a a test pressing to, to OK or did they send you a file just to make sure that it, it yeah, sounded how you wanted th- it to? They sent us a file because they're based in the UK. So um, we could have had them send us um, the test pressings. We, we got it with the... Uh, the full order, some test pressings, but they just recorded a an audio version of it, sent that so that they didn't have to ship something overseas, have us approve it, and then start manufacturing, then ship everything else. So, yeah. It, does it seem like people are kind of gravitating towards vinyl now compared to the other formats? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, pe- people like it. People think it's cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The vinyl collecting is. I mean, obviously, pretty big 
now, maybe more than it has been in like the last 20 years. You know, you always see the the facts that people are, you know, they're out selling CDs and such. But we all have record players and we all play vinyl. I collect vinyl. That was um, a big reason that we wanted to have something on vinyl. Yeah. Just because that's cool. I want to. Yeah. I something we that. like. So. Yeah. Um, and so far it's sold pretty well. I think people like it. Yeah. yeah. I did also hear one of our friends say they, they got our CD. And they're like, well, I'll have to get a CD player for this now. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what household? Right. They need to put uh, they need to put record players in cars. Yeah, they don't yeah. even have CD <laughs> players. Yeah. Right. So tonight's show, are you going to have the the vinyl available? Oh yeah. Yes. Yep. Great. Then you have uh, some news about uh, touring. You're going to be touring soon. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. So we'll be. Um going on the road in like late june with um lunar moth from madison um pretty much just gonna hit like what is like is that like south what part of the country is that it's like um like we're going south, K- kentucky um so the, what's the furthest we're going Ten- tennessee tennessee kentucky yeah. whichever one's further i don't know what that you know yeah, we still gotta nail down a couple dates and so, yeah. so stay tuned for for dates and deets but it'd be like a week-long thing with them so very excited for that. Well, and you've been friends with Lunar Moth for, for quite oh, some yeah. time. Yeah. We, talk, we talked about it last time we were on here, and it's happening. We manifested that. Yeah. <laughs> Go back and watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Lunar, Lunar Moth, you know, obviously friends of yours. Are there any bands that are up and coming that that you've been turned on to lately from the Oshkosh scene, or even the Fox Cities in general? Um, I always say Ditch the Hubcap. I mean, they've been around a little while now. Um, they just really impressed us. Still seeing them, you know, poke out here and there for shows. Um, Can we say your other band's name on the radio? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, China, Alex. Let's, China. Just, let's say it. I mean, it's like six words, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, China Ferrari Sex Surgery Death Cult. Um, <laughs> we've been kind of coming out a little bit more. Um, we've been together for like a year, trying to. They're way too good. Yeah, they're they're fucking they're they're awesome. Well, Sorry. so checking out that that band, you guys have played some some shows, and the the pictures I saw, they look like pretty crazy shows. I don't know where that was, but the it was in a house or somewhere that was pretty yeah pretty graffitied and yeah. Like uh, I saw a sex doll being passed oh, yeah, around. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was uh was that last weekend at uh the jumble yeah. yeah. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, we played that show and China opened. Um, and then we had the Nasty Boys. We actually just did like a weekend run with them. If you're familiar with them, at cult, all. cult of Nasty, Cult of Nasty. Yeah, yeah, that was that was an experience. The really cool guys, and they they know how to control a crowd. Absolutely. So Jesse and Kevin, you guys have other projects, or is it just Alex that that is doing double duty no. currently? I don't think I can handle another one. No, this is all my mental capacity. Yeah, just just yeah. Alex. It, it might be like a drummer thing. There's always <laughs> that joke where there's not enough drummers to go around. So a lot of them are in multiple bands. Well, since we spoke last, you guys were nominated for a whammy last year. I think you guys went to the the uh, party. How how was that experience? Um, uh, we got a refund on our tickets, yeah. so, so we went for free. <laughs> Uh, um, the pamphlet was missing a page, which included our name. <laughs> so, no, but, I mean, uh, it was uh, it was something like we've never really done before. So um, it was interesting. It was I a mean, neat photo op. Yeah. Well, Is it something you would do again? I don't know. I mean, we got to just go see what it was like, and <laughs> I don't think it was quite our our style. Um, I've I've heard that it's not quite the same anymore. Yeah. So we, we don't so really know what to. what to think of it. I guess. Yeah. So. Um, there's some other cool bands though that you know we know from the scene so um i just saw some stuff about the bammies the bammies. Yes. Seen the pictures from that it's like i don't know if you guys know about that trash band is one yeah metal, metal artist. artist of the year that that looked like that went really well yeah, yeah so happy for them a couple days ago was the first of what's hopefully the annual bammy awards the bay area music awards right. is that something that you think oshkosh would ever start do you think there's anybody in oshkosh that would take the initiative to start something like that because really it just takes a group of people to start just to you know to initiate the the process and go through all the work of creating something like that yeah um i think it works really well for green bay 
area because it has like a rich history going back pretty far. And Oshkosh probably does too, but probably not quite like Green Bay uh, as for how far back the history goes. So um, I don't know if something like that would happen in Oshkosh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, a lot of times it feels like a popularity contest, and that's not really interesting to me. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's it's neat to have bragging rights and have that, you know. But the venue opportunities in Oshkosh. We talked a little bit about it last time, and we talked about the um, the the place you're playing tonight, the Reptile Palace. Has Oshkosh gained any venues since we spoke a couple of years ago? Um, not really. Honestly, I've been thinking a lot more about it actually because um the main places to play um so pretty much all the places that we've played is a uh, reptile palace basement venue which there used to be more there's a couple um that aren't too active um there's the jambalaya which is great um the place called the algoma club which we were actually just talking about um they've yeah. hosted music i actually saw a, a show there like one of my first local shows was like traveling suitcase and bronze sage there probably like 10 years ago i thought the place was awesome it's such a cool old um, building i'd love to such a big stage i'd love to do that but we could fill that room there's like the dead horse which they do everything some i mean they have a stage so uh, that's right they do open mics every week um but other than that there's not like uh like new venues coming out you know um uh, jambalaya has really taken a step up i think yeah yeah we have the just- leech but that's not really like a thing for local bands to book shows at. Well, we're going to play it. We are going to play it at it, but, um, you guys are playing the leech. Yeah. yeah um, we're Dude. pretty sure. <laughs> we're, <laughs> no, I thought that was... <laughs> no, it's like confirmed. I'm just like, are you sure? Are you sure we're doing that? Yeah, no, I do uh, feel like we tricked them, but, uh, it's yeah. going to be fun during the vintage fest. That nice. having there, yeah. yeah. I don't know what information is out for that. And I don't know what <laughs> it's out now. It's out now. <laughs> I, I think we can talk about that, but so what? What is Vintage Fest? Oh, so Vintage Fest. Mm. Um, so uh, it's this, it's kinda, it's this, <laughs> yeah, like uh, clothing. Pretty much just a bunch of vendors. It's kind of like a swap meet kind of a thing. So it's um, very cool. Yeah, they've been doing it um, for quite a while. Kenny Peters, I think, is her last name. Um, she kind of has been putting it on at a few different locations and they do live music at a few of them. Um, got like the brewery All in right. Oshkosh. They've done live music, but um, I think she wanted to try doing something bigger this year. So it's, it's getting too big for its britches. You gotta, yeah. yeah. It's too so big you, for the convention center. So you guys will be hitting the stage at the leech. Yep. Absolutely. I think so. I think so. Maybe probably for yeah. sure. With uh <laughs> with another big name. When I see it on a flyer names, then I'll uh, then I'll know for sure. So another another big name you said. Oh a couple of the big names, yeah. And you yeah. know you know who these names are. Yep. Oh, yeah. We can't weasel them out of you today. I don't know I don't know why we <laughs> Alex, I can I say it? I mean I don't know if they if they want to make an announcement. They haven't announced it yet, so I feel like I don't know if it's uh our thing to announce necessarily, you know. Keep an eye out. Deets and dates. Yeah, it'll be great. It's in July. So where specifically were you hitting on this tour coming up? Um, we are planning to hit um, kind of like a local, either Oshkosh, Madison, Milwaukee, um, jump off point, you know. Then we're going to go over to Ohio, Cincinnati or something, maybe Indiana. That's one of the dates that we're kind of still figuring some things out. And then... Tennessee, Kentucky. Um, are you guys a Lunar Moth, Smoke Free Home, and then are you going to add like a, a local on to, to each bill? Yep. Yeah, so we'll either have like a local opener or a local closer or maybe both kind of sandwich us in there. Um, yeah, we've been doing, uh, doing a lot of talking with just people online, kind of figuring some things out, so meeting new people over the internet. Well, it's pretty exciting, and then hopefully some relationships are created, and you'll be able to host some of those bands That's the goal. when you get back. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Is there one specific show that you're looking the most forward to? Um, honestly, all of them. I mean, it'll uh, they'll all be great. I'm sure. Yeah. Just excited to see some new places. You know? Hit the road with Lunar Moth. We've been wanting to do that for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've got a new single coming out soon. 
Can you tell me a little bit about the new single? That's right. Frog Legs is coming out. Um, uh, we're trying for next Friday. Yeah. Right. Well, we're just going to put it out whenever. We Uh-oh. just decided this on the drive here. <laughs> I, I think, I think usually, Friday is good. Usually, like, um, we haven't released a whole ton of music, but um, we usually, like, try to, like, amp people up for when we release something. But um, this one, we'll just probably let people know when it's out, when it's out. It'll be very soon, I'm thinking. So, Where, where did you record this one? In my basement. His basement, yeah. Yeah. With um, Bean Boy. Bean Boy. Where is he out of again? Milwaukee. Yeah. yeah he does um, sound at um, Milwaukee uh, Beer uh, com- Brew- Company, Brewing. Company Brewing. Jesus, Company Brewing. Jesus, that was yeah. hard to remember. For <laughs> get another take There's on Appleton that. Beer Factory, and we always... <laughs> Appleton oh, Beer Company Brewing yeah. Factory, Milwaukee. <laughs> they always mix, but... Man, he's great. He he gave us something that just sounds like probably honestly our best sounding stuff. Yet. Yeah. Um, so it was so easy to like kind of remove from the actual recording of it. How is the the music? Is it different from Bad News, or is it along the same the same vein? It's it's the same vein. Yeah. It's just the uh, the recording that he did was. Oh my gosh! Just such good quality. Yeah. Yeah. A good experience all around, for sure. So is that going to change? Is, is Frog Legs going to change the trajectory of your recording future projects? Are you going to end up working with somebody now? Well, we have actually one more date um, lined up with Bean Boy. We're going to uh, record another single, possibly some other songs. Um, yeah, one other single at least for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kevin, I thought for sure by now that that. You guys would have recruited a guitar player. You're still doing double duty with the octaves and every everything else. Yep. With the he bass. signed a contract. Yeah, <laughs> it's impressive. And, and to, we talked about it last time, but to talk about it again, like, how do you find how to fill a song with just bass, like where you normally have a, a guitar or two and a bass? And are people still do you, are people still turning their heads when they're walking into a smoke you know free home show and not knowing what to expect yeah i he you make that joke all the time (laughs) where people are just like how do you get that sound but that tone yeah Yeah, Um, at the end of every show (laughs) how do you get that tone (laughs) um i don't know i just kind of screwed around with it enough and then i think for us we just kind of we found something that works with how we write and how you know the pieces that all of us put together that now now we don't like touch it and we just kind of yeah. Now you were talking with um, Dad Bods, right? And doesn't he do something similar? Yeah, I've never actually seen anybody else. I mean, not locally. And actually, same with the Cult of Nasty. So, um, what day was that? Was that that was last, Saturday? Well, last Saturday, we played with. It was four band bill, and the first three bands were all bass drum, bass just drum, just yeah. bass drum duos. Or... That's interesting. I mean that. You don't normally see that many. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, so you guys have have the the single coming out, the tour coming up. What uh, what else is there? Anything else is, plus a recording of another song? Well, we're always we're always moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna do more like just release singles now and not not focus on EP so much? That seems to be the move, right? Yeah. To do mm-hmm. at least a few. I, I'm not crazy about it. If I'm into a band, I'll, I'll sometimes hold off on the singles and just wait for the release and then listen to it all as one thing. But um, I think we should do a few, and then we are gonna do a full length album. We've definitely got plenty of material for it. Yeah. When it comes to putting out the EPs the way we've been doing them. Um, I mean, we kind of, like, take our time with it, so sometimes it can be a lengthy process. So the good thing about putting out, like, a single every once in a while is we can, you know, get some of the music out that we've been sitting on for a while. I mean, there's some songs that we don't even have recorded that we've been playing for years, you know, at this point. So sometimes it's good to just be able to whip something out. And you yeah. keep and you keep the engagement up on Spotify, too. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's good to kind of keep people engaged that way Absolutely. with singles but um i think the idea is um we've put out like three eps now and then um we we're thinking about doing like a full length next but um that'll probably like go into next year at this point i would think yeah I think so. mm-hmm. second half of the year we'll probably think a lot more about that about what will go on to it but if you guys could play a show with 
anybody in the area, a, a band from Wisconsin that you haven't played with yet? Is there anybody that you're looking to play with? Hmm. I'm sure there is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got to be somebody on your radar that you've seen and, and you enjoy and wouldn't mind splitting a bill with. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of lucky enough that we've, we've played with a lot of... Uh, a lot of the bands that we like and maybe it's uh we like them because we got the chance to play with them and see what they're like and there's probably ones out there that we haven't and we have yet to learn but i'm always being um, surprised yeah we, we've played with you know quite a bit of people from the area i want i don't know who who are we who are we looking to still get on a gig with that we haven't it's totally cash answering your messages <laughs> yeah i mean i mean we've played with them but um well, and they're again. from chicago but yep yeah, they're always great to see so Love to get on a totally cash show again. Um, I'd like to play with Shuby again. You know we, that yeah. doesn't happen too often. Those guys are great. Um, that always goes well. We play together. Have, have you guys seen the uh, Oshkosh Rocks videos? That we put um, on? Yeah, I think so. Like um, the Present Age. Yep, and just I just did one. Is, and... I think they've got some with Shuby coming up, which is why that. Was yeah. On came into my mind there. yeah those look those look pretty cool actually like um the guy that runs it was talking to us actually about it he was just the first one was like a very lengthy process i think and um they're still kind of they're figuring it out as they're going i guess but um they're talking about maybe having us go on there but might be a while so that'd be cool we, to see you guys on there we rock <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we we're talking before the show about uh, when you guys did in the lobby and that that whole experience and as far as being a kind of not how you normally would play a show, I thought it turned out really, really well. I loved it, and Alex has sworn off acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd love to. I'd love to do it again. We're writing new songs, and I'm like, this one could be cool acoustic. But um, yeah, maybe we'll talk him into it sometime again. But that was a really cool experience, yeah. and then we got a, a release out of it, and then we put CDs out. It was, it was yeah, really. Great. It was great to do something totally different from anything we've done so far i mean we generally play pretty heavy and fast and loud and that was like the complete opposite so no drums and a guitar which is a lot different for us too so it was really well received but yeah people seem to like it and uh kind of a little diversity in our catalog so i think it was a challenge for some of us too well, it was for me it was very frightening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was scared to play the guitar. Very nerve-wracking show. <laughs> Just sweating on a stool. Yeah. <laughs> what's uh, what's the band goal for this year? I don't know. Um, Just pretty much what we what we've we said. To set goals. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm getting married in October, and so we're not trying to do anything too crazy. It's going to take time away from that. Yeah, I, I think 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 uh, with him getting married in the later part of the year we're trying to you know live it up in the this first half of the year before you, know, you lose me completely get, is that what you're get the vinyl out you know go on like a little little tour play some we've got some you know bigger shows planned so um yeah do you think marriage is going to change the the dynamics of the band no and that's it that's in my vows yeah <laughs> no certainly not no so all of a sudden jesse you're not gonna be like skipping out of practices and unable to do shows no it's still she knows that's a big part of my life no we can't disrupt that yeah you tell me does it change a lot <laughs> it does yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> it does well all the fans are just worried now like wait, yeah <laughs> so i can't remember are you guys married no kids no no hey, well no. i think the kids the kids probably change it more than i think so yeah. so yeah. I, I think until that happens you, you're probably safe i think so where can people pick up this this final right now just at shows thought um we would try to try to get people to come out to shows if they want it for the first few weeks or so um it'll it'll hit like local stores we'll probably drop off some copies too we definitely will are you going to have that available tonight at the Reptile Palace? Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it'll eventually probably go online, too, you know, on our, like, band camp. So it'll be available everywhere eventually. So we're just taking the time right now that it's kind of fresh to say, you know, come out, see us in person, and pick up a copy. And then after that, 
support a local record store, we're going to have them there. And then if they don't do either of those things, then eventually you can buy it online. So, Where can people go to find out more about Smoke Free Home? Um, All our socials? Yeah. Any social media? The local paper? Well, not that, but uh, listen to the wind. <laughs> Any final words? Uh, no, come on out to Reptile tonight. Yeah. And, uh, and, and come get our vinyl. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>